Our adventure begins in Montreal. This is right where midnight's in Paris. The taxi comes and picks them up. On our flight from Montreal to Paris, we were the last passengers to board our plane. We each had separate middle seats, so sleeping was impossible. We landed shortly after 9am Paris time. We met up with Carissa at the airport and then took the train into Paris to meet the rest of our crew. We're in Paris. We met up with Jordan, Sandra, Danny and Nate at our flat we had booked for the next two nights. Only a couple blocks from the Notre Dame and the Seine River. We heard about hour Jordan hour and day. Nate's adventures in Switzerland just before they had arrived in Paris. We explored the neighborhood surrounding us. We saw the Notre Dame Cathedral and the Lovelock Bridge. A couple of locks may have been thrown into the river. Just me. After eating at a cafe, we did what all Parisians do and took in the sunset from the banks of the Seine. The second morning, we visited Notre Dame. We prayed for safety while we were scootering on the traffic filled streets of Paris. This is one of the best ways to see the city. Day two mostly consisted of us scootering around Paris on our Vespas. Paris in the morning is my favorite time to see the city. Everything is quiet and still and there's no crowds. Day three was when we picked up our first rental car. Nate rolled up his sleeves and tried to park it. Close enough. Well, we have to go. We gotta okay. I'm afraid we the couple split off and each did their own thing while Nathan and I relaxed in a park. After relaxing at the park, we met up under the Eiffel Tower with Jordan and Sandra. The plan was to drive back to the airport, find a cheap hotel, and meet Maranatha and Brad who were landing in the morning. Now we had two rental cars and 
we're driving to we Switzerland. No delays. We're gonna have delays because we haven't bought tomorrow's breakfast and a bit additional for tomorrow's supper. We have sausages supplied. We're gonna get eggs. All the pots and pans and spatulas are there. We just need to bring a lighter. There's a wood stove. There's wood underneath. So basically, everything is supplied. You need to bring your sleeping bag up and the clothes you want to wear tomorrow morning up and good hiking boots. N none of that stuff. Um, <laughs> lots of water. If we did the six and a half hour drive as is, we get there at 4:30. And it took me and Nate an hour to get down, really hustling with no two, bags. Two hours. Or two hours, okay. To get up, we're looking at three to four hours. It's a total mountain goat trail. <laughs> like, it is totally ridiculous. Oh, no. um, you're, you're climbing up almost a cliff. So. Because of the rain, we had to abandon our plan to sleep overnight in the mountains. The combination of expectations and weather had brought everyone down, and spirits were at an all-time low. The next morning, we awoke to snow on the mountains. That evening, we treated ourselves to an amazing dinner in a small French town in the Alsace region. <laughs> Vive la cuisine française! From Alsace, we drove north, through the night, and into Belgium. Then it was a ferry across to Dover. Some of us were a little excited to have arrived. We're here! <laughs> Time to go back in the car! Woo! 